Brothers and sisters, we are asking you please to please to settle down. Remember, we are in the house of the Lord. We, we can't sound like we're in the marketplace. Please settle down, calm and nicely.
If you are satisfied with you viewing, we are asking the Paul Bavers to close the cup. We are asking the platform party to line up in the passage here, the choir and all the ministers. Um, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, as we gather in the presence of the Lord one more time. We just want to give our thanks, give and praise. I'm going to ask everyone to join me in singing this song. As we go into praise and worship. I better go for one of those whole songs that Mother May would be singing. I am thy own Lord. I have heard thy voice and it told thy love to me. But I love to ask in the arms of and be closer, joy to 
Come on, everybody, raise your voice. Johnny, nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the cross where thou wast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious A young man, a man of this child, a man of our own sons, who while the others was sleeping, he was tiling in the night, knowing that the deeper he digs, the higher he rise. It's no other person but Reverend Dr. Edgar Daly, he will introduce you to the grace team. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody just lift those hands. 
and give God some praise in the heart. Come on, just give him some praise. Give him some praise. Come on, raise this place with the praises of the Lord. Come on, let the roof be praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. You may be seated for a while as I greet you this morning. in any trouble early so I will try to avoid you know names this time will take a lot of time and so I just want to greet the platform party uh, family members friends church family and visitors I just want to greet you this afternoon this morning rather in Jesus name I'm your servant, Reverend uh, Pastor Dr. Edward Daly, and uh, I couldn't let nothing stop me from being here today after being around for so many years, uh, traveling, walking from Cowley to Stacyville and Stacyville walking from Stacyville to Cowley. Night after night, crusade and different evangelism service. And of course, I can remember Mother May. And uh, if everybody knows Brother Danny, then you would know Mother May. And uh, for Mother May, life here on the heart. I am praying that I will get to that age. 99. I mean somebody. I, I, I want to bounce my own joy. Amen somebody. So I believe that we should be rejoicing today. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together and give God thanks for this great woman of God. Amen. She fight. She run well. She kept the faith. And I believe that she hold on until the end. And I know for sure that she's somewhere around the throne of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. To be absent in the body. Oh, my God. Somebody need to give God some praise here. Hallelujah. To be absent from Praise and uh, I, I will assure you that there will be no speaker go over 90 seconds. I promise you that. I will know about Mother May. It's 90 seconds. Amen. Amen. For those of you who get to sing, I know some of you practice three verses and the chorus two times. But as from now, cut out two, cut two verses and the chorus two times. Amen. We're going to go through this and of course, we want to make sure we put down Mother May in style. I just want to say to you, I must introduce Reverend Dr. Terry Lee. We have been traveling over the weekend from New York just to be here. Uh, Reverend Terry cancelled so many things. I have cancelled so many things just to be here today. Um, tomorrow should be uh, my pastor's appreciation service. And yesterday rather, and I cancelled it just to be here today. Um, and I cancelled that. Um, Saturday was Reverend Dr. Terry Lee, amen, appreciation, um, pastor's appreciation, fish fry, and he just eat one bone out of the fish and took the plane. Amen. Just to be here. We have with us today the Reverend Sheldon Gibbons, who is no stranger to us and is no stranger to Mother May, and of course he with us today. 
And so today, my brothers and sisters, the program will moderate by the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, which will be represented by U.S. truly, Reverend Dr. Edgar Daly, Reverend Sheldon Gibbons, and Reverend Dr. Terry Lee. We're gonna get it going. At this time, I'm gonna ask the praise and worship team to come, and they will give us a few selection, then we're gonna go into the program. There's a praise and worship.
in front of my daddy. You are all that matters. Come on, church, sing with me. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You to the singing of the opening in.
Somebody shout hallelujah. Let's bow your heads and cry with me. Eternal God and our Father, the creator of the universe, the Lord who is sovereign, the God of heaven who is the great I am, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, we celebrate you this morning, God. We honor you because of who you are. You are sovereign. You are righteous. You're a God of justice. You're a God of peace. You're a deliverer. You're a way maker. You're a promise keeper. You are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And so, Lord, we thank you for who you are. Yes. And so, Lord, as we come, God, this morning to celebrate the life of Sister Isilda, we give you thanks for her life here on earth and for the long life that you have blessed her with. Yes. Lord, we thank you, God, for everything that you have done within her time on this earth. And God, as, as we celebrate her life, oh Lord God, we want to pray right now. We ask that everything will be done to your honor, and to your glory, and to your name. Lord, let everything that, has, that will be said and done here, oh God, this morning, oh, it will be honor and glory and praise unto you. So Lord, we pray that you'll take full charge of this funeral service. And we ask that your will will be done in the name of Jesus. And we say, Amen and Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you very much. Our first lesson will come to us from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 to verse 8. And this will read by or David Moffat, grand, great granddaughter. Greetings all. The scripture I'll be reading this morning comes from Ecclesiastics 3, verse 1 to 8. Here began. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. 
A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw it away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Hey, and the reader of God's holy word. Thanks be to God. And so as we continue with the program, we are now going into the first section of the Trubbins for the day. We're going to ask you to please come in this order. Um, and this should finish within 10 minutes. We have Deacon Alfred Anarchy. Deacon Herman Golden, the States of Hill Holy Circuit of Baptist Churches, Pastor Michael Wallace, Mistress Dixon, adopted granddaughter. I'm going to ask you to please come in the honor as it listed on your book. Within 10 minutes, we should wrap this. Section Let us worship the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Praise Him. I think we have sufficient people here to show that of praise. Praise Him. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Brother me, pull me that he would not cry when my wife died a few months ago. And he would not die, he would not cry when his mother died. Because he was sure where they were after death. And so, you know, we rejoice to be in this service today as a matter of fact, make me greet the old platform party. <laughs> Everybody, greetings, brethren. Yeah, man. <laughs> yes. Um, Mama Sissi, as we know her, 69 years of those 99 years that she lived, she was a member of this TSB Baptist Church. I looked up the record because I'm the record man. And she was baptized, I think she was baptized in 1954 by a minister. I, know, I don't remember his first name, but his last name was Samuels. That is before Pastor Harris, who was a long serving minister of our circuit. As a little boy, I attend Sunday school. And so I always have encounter with Miss Sissy. And you know, boys in church, some of those who are older people, they keep you very strict in a church. <laughs> and you know I might say this some of them were very partial because if I know them pit me a relative them pit me a big trouble you understand they will kill you kill you outside and drive you out of church you understand but Mama Sissy was that kind of woman 
that was very loving for two children. And so um, we could relax, you know, as children with Mama Sissy. Um, as a member of the church, she was a devoted member. A one that supported the, mem the, the membership of the church financially and physically otherwise. She was always attentive to whatever it was going on in the church. And I said that even when she was down that coming to church, she still gives substantial support to the church's ministry. And so, you know, I just thank God for a person like she, like Sister May. And I'm sure right now she's with the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Come on, put your hands together for me. We bless the Lord. We glorify his name. We shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the interest of time, our protocol has been observed. You know me, um, there is no... The rock. But today, I'm on the earth. Um, first of all, I must apologize for our minister, our pastor, Reverend Susan Clark of the circuit. She had surgery done. And I know her spirit is right here. But she kind of, she's on Walker. We bless the Lord. Let me go into my little thing. The blessed are the dead which dieth in the Lord. The rest are from their labor and their works do follow them. I must say I feel honored to be here to give a tribute in behalf of the Sensible Cowley Circuit of Baptist Churches pertaining to our sister May Honorable. For such a gracious and unique lady as Sister May, we are saddened at the passing of one who served so courageously in sickness and was a light of significant influence to all whose lives she has touched. A devoted Christian lady will be remembered for her devotion to duty at church at home and in the community, a woman of integrity, of great character. She had such strength and humor. She could be relied on. She has left an indelible mark on her community. Her life was a ministry which demonstrated God's love and care. She was indeed a virtuous woman, a motivator. A mother of many children and brought of many. She has left a legacy of love, peace, humility, 
And today we say farewell to one who has served with the greatest of characters. Light perpetual on our shine. I once passed our church where a sister, you know, she always come by me to talk and so on. She said to me, Pastor, have a holy percent, but time not there. So the time not there. But two little things that I take my seat, Buck and Sissy, were persons of compassion, kindness, and generosity. And I know that, you know, they are going to be surprised in heaven. Because a lot of people that we say will not be there, will be there. And some of who we say, special person to me so I just want to sing this song for her. We're going to sing as a group. I'm satisfied with just a cottage below a little silver and a little gold but in that city where the ranch and will shine I want a gold one that's in the light i 
some praise. Come on, give God some praise in the house. Come on, give him some praise. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe Mother may sing in the song today. I've got a mansion. My God and Father, I am praying I want to live a life pure and holy. We are in the days today that I hear you can Aniki touch on that part of it. Um, you know, um, Christian today, days are not so faithful and dedicated like back in the days of Mother May. We are easily to be moved. You know, um, uh, I don't know if we have the same problem here, but it seems like we as pastors, we, we can't even discipline and correct our members much anymore. They, they eat and just wipe their mouth and look in our eyes and, and they look, them even look at us and tell us that we can't see. It's like, but I don't know if we are fear of, you know, Pastor Barnett to lose members or what. But I am telling you, my brothers and sisters, that if Mother May could get up today, and, and uh, you know, start to share some things that she have been through in all of her years of serving the Lord, the battered and the bruised, and she rubbed it off and said, I'm going to church today. She beat it up and she said, listen, I'm going to church today. I know for sure that today Christians are comfortable in their lowly bar on a Sunday morning because of hurt. But back then, when you hurt, you find the church. And even when you hurt and the preacher preaching, you sit in a little corner and you're shaking and you said, I'm still going to be in the presence of the Lord. I want the church to rise on your feet because if it was the Prime Minister, are the governor general person. Everybody would be standing and it's with music all over the place. I want to rise on your feet from a woman to live 99 years. Come on, somebody. And out of the 99 years, for over 60 years, she has been serving God. This must be God. Everybody need to stand on your feet and give God a praise. This must be God. Come on, somebody. This must be God. She was called and chosen and anointed and appointed. Oh, pray God Almighty, somebody hit me in this place. Come on, church of God. She was one of them who is not easily to perform. Oh, somebody lift her and give God praise. Look at the name and say, this must be God.
Pastor Lake, followed by the Coley Baptist Church, followed by the second lesson, Revelation chapter 21, from verse 1 to verse 8. Worship the Lord. Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we lift up the name of Jesus? Lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. It is a sad occasion. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But I want to encourage the bereaved family. Blessed be the name of Jesus today. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Although you are going through this rough time, just know that you can rest on Jesus. Rest on him because he will take care of you. Praise God. When you feel like you are sick, when all around you gives way,
Give us a minute, Coley. I know you're ready. You're ready. Um, there's a slight little change and uh, and the program at this time. Um, and we know how it goes when you are at the doctor office and your head and your belly hurting you and you're just saying, Doctor, where are you? Doctor, I need you. And you might be asking the whole long Doctor gonna take to get here. And I know how it is we have been there. So I'm gonna ask I'm gonna pass calling for this award winner and Dr. Desmond Brand is here. And of course he will have to go. Patient has been waiting there. So I'm gonna ask our doctor to please come at this time. And of course he will Greetings. After followed by the Cody Baptist Church. In the interest of time, all protocols observed. The clothes are gathering outside, and I really want Sister Icy to go down in style. So I'm not going to take much of your time. All protocols observed. I was privileged for the last 10 years to be the health provider for Miss Icy. Though lacking in sight, she had vision better than those who are seeing 2020. Because she was always praising her God. And there was no pain too great where she wouldn't say, I am giving thanks. Even when she's in pain and I had to go downstairs and meet her in the car, she was giving thanks. Not gone. Not gone too. All right, see you then, take your flight. No. Listen, we might ask a lot of questions. Why now, why me? But God knows best. And his way is always the right way at any time. God gives life. He takes.
for the last goodbye. There's a smile, though tears dim their eyes. Death will take. Baptist Church to celebrate the life of this great lady. We thank God for her and the life she lived. So we are here to give our little um, contribution in a little song.
shall be with them and be their God and God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away and he that sat upon the throne said behold I make all things new and he said unto me right for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and the unbelieving, the abominable and murderers, the whoremongers and sorcerers, the idolaters and all liars, shall have their part in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second day. Part of the Lord's word. Thank you very much. And so at this time, we will now have a musical band. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. And so at this time, as I earlier on remind you that Mother May lived 90 years. And so we are three moderators for the day. You could expect nothing better, nothing greater. A great woman of the Lord. And so at this time, our second moderator, which is no other than Reverend Dr. Terry Lee from all the way out of Brooklyn, New York. I'm going to ask you to put your hands together and make welcome the love of God, Reverend Dr. Terry Lee. An amazing man of God. And to the families, I want to take this time also to offer my deepest sincere condolences unto you. Our uh, protocols have already been observed until today. Again, in the name of Jesus, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Certainly, Brother Danny, amen. You know, um, we go way back. And the writer rightly said, roll back the curtains of memories. Every now and then, and show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. So remind me, dear Lord, remind me. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody give the Lord another shout of praise in the house. Clap those hands, clap those hands and give them. Amen, the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Meet me by the river someday. Send me me by the river. I'm far away. When my Lord I call me home, I'll be on the shore beyond the sky. Meet me by the river. Oh, praise the Lord. 
introduce yourself to the church. Don't worry. I'm in view of that. I'm resting. I am on my to listen.
so much, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Look to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Yeah. Come on, touch your neighbor, man, and say, neighbor. Yeah. God is good, bad. Yeah. Touch your person beside you and say, I refuse to complain. Yeah. Amen. At this time, we're going to have a poem. Amen. By Denisha's granddaughter. Amen. Put your hands together. For granddaughter, and as she comes. Amen.
My lovely grandma Sissy, I miss our times together. The market shop, the Sunday school, and even digging ginger. These were just the sweetest memories that were fun, awesome, and good. Even if it was just a family outing, in the bush, growing onward. If tears could build a staircase and memories could pave a lane, your family would march straight up to heaven and bring you home again. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Put your hands together for a wonderful time. Mother is someone special to us. Even though today we are living in the days where we have seen so many different and anymore. But mother, you always will be mother. No matter who wanna change, you still be mama. And when you have your children, even they don't treat you good, still be mama. And for those of you, and for those of us who still have mama alive, I beg of you, please, 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 take care of your mama. Because you never know how important mama is until when she's not here anymore. Don't curse your mama. Don't beat your mama. Please, I'm begging of you, look to your neighbor and say, love mama. In a special way. At this time, we will have an item by the grandchildren. They will be coming to us at this time. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless. Amen. Grandma, she was very fruitful. She did the Lord's command. Multiply and replenish the heart. Amen. Come on, clap them, no man.
in heaven. You can still call on Jesus on that royal telephone and central never too busy. Look to your neighbor one more time and say, neighbor, be very sure that your heavenly line is connected. Hallelujah. We give God praise. At this time we're going to have remembrance by Amen. Mr. Novena, May daughter in law. Amen. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for her.
down to one again. There was a line that was drawn through the ages, and that line stands the whole rugged cross. And at that cross, a battle is waiting for the gain of man's soul, for its love. It, oh, it is finished, the end of the conflict. It is finished, and Jesus is Lord. Reflection for the late, I still the rich of me, commonly called Mississi or Mommy. Today, she's just here to give you a little walk down memory lane as we reflect on Mama. I met Mama in 1971, where her son Matthew took me to her field to assist with class in gym. And that happened more than once. And it didn't stop there. He also started taking me to the house. After visiting a few times, I started watching and falling in love with the family. And like clockwork, Mama also started showing her love for me. It didn't take much for me to want to develop and blossom into something beautiful. There was nothing in that house that Mama and her children would give me. Her daughter, me, was the big chef at the time, and she would serve me the biggest chunk of poor. Those days, poor were carried this way. Whenever I visited Mama, and she and her husband, Bob, who was predecessor, would sit down and start telling me stories. It could never end. Sometimes I had to break them so that I could go home. As our relationship developed, I wouldn't leave mama and she wouldn't leave me. I remember when I had my first child for her son, she gifted her a pretty full for that dress. My mom bought the dress too, but mama's dress was something to look at. As time went by, I got ill. And that is when mama became my mother-in-law because she never left me. She stood up with my mother throughout my illness and gave her son her blessing to marry me while I was very ill. From that day, I looked at mama as Naomi and I fixed myself in the place of Ruth. When my mom passed, mama was there and stood up with me like Naomi did for Ruth. Mama went to the upper market. She would shop for the entire family. It was a blessing to watch all the grandkids race to her on a Sunday morning with their little baskets to collect groceries for each household. She would prepare doctor fish and boil banana for them. They ate, they chat. She would tell them tales from her market adventures and then send them to get ready for church. It was understood that the grandkids had to go to Baptist church with grandma, regardless of which church their parents attended. When mama was leaving off the hill for church. She checked my house and May's house, and all the kids better gone to Sunday school. I don't know sometimes where mama got so much money because we never shot the food. Even when the cold food was empty, mama had chicken. All I know, nobody is ever come looking for her. She was a blessed woman. Christmas time at mama was a story. All our grandkids would gather as usual for their groceries. Some are blow filthy, some are bus water gun, some are drive truck, they can tell you. She had dressed, she had Christmas shoes for them, Christmas uh, dresses, and even straw hats for church. Fruit cake, as we, as we know it, as Christmas cake, was a must. And even after Christmas, Mama would still have for her grandkids. Poor Mama, it was all about her grandkids. All of them can attest to that. Not sure why grandkids did them. I remember when Dallas, one of her granddaughters, won the Stacyville contest. She was so small, and the crowd around her was so large. Mama went on stage and stood right beside her grandchild, because she said if any of them ever touch her, they would find her. <laughs> Mama was independent. She was courageous. She was God-fearing. And when she loved, she loved me. And believe me, the feeling was mutual, because all her grandkids loved her right back. They loved to entertain Mama. It was her biggest job when they sang at church. Whether at rally, concert, or just Sunday school, Mama would be so proud and smile from ear to ear. When it was rally time, Mama wouldn't allow me or me to pay to take down the kids. Mama had that covered. Losing Mama is like losing a part of us. Because even when she lost her sight and stayed home, nothing in her relationship changed. We got even closer if that was even possible. She was always a happy and pleasant woman, unless someone messed with her grandchildren. In the end, Mama fought a good fight and finished her course. She kept her faith, and for there is laid up for her a crown of righteousness with the Lord, the righteous judge. 
shall give her at that day, and not just her, but unto all, all them that are also love appearing. Second Timothy seven, second Timothy four, sorry, seven to eight. Sleep well, mom. May your soul rest in eternal peace, and your legacy lives on. Amen. Put your hands together for that wonderful. Amen. We're gonna move over into a slideshow at this time. We ask that um, for the slideshow, please. It's five minutes, and if you go over, remember when I stand, let's stand the cup to break this. We gotta go to. There's a ring on the door, she don't look here no more. As of today, she flew home, and we've all gathered here in sorrow and tears. It won't be the same with her gone.
Hallelujah. Come on, somebody just give God another shout of praise. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, just stand up on your feet. Just stand up on your feet and just lift your hands. Come on, everybody at the back. Come on, just, just, just stand up and just wave your hands back to heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, let the, let the church shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, I cannot hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, if you miss me, don't come searching, if you don't find me, you know that I'm gone, and if you don't hear together three moderator for the day. I don't know if you ever see anything like this before, but if you did ever hold the hundred, should I get four moderator? I said to Brother May, I said, Brother May, why should you ever just hold the wicked instead of get old out? But you hold it for long. I mean somebody. Some only hold it for six months, some hold it for 25 years. Come on, some hold it for 45. Some of them just get married and go back for the moon, they hold it. Somebody need to put your hands together and give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 I believe, I believe every time the bowler come with the ball and bowl at her, she's just singing this song, I am under the rock. The rock is higher than I. Jehovah guide me. I'm under the rock. Send back a message to the enemy. Protect my enemy. Oh God Almighty. I, I want them from in a Pentecostal Jesus. Holy Ghost Church. My Protect God. my enemies. I'm under the rock. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to invite our second and third moderator for the day, Evangelist Sheldon Robert Gibbons. He has been with this circuit for a number of years. And I know for sure my main spirit has been rejoicing. Those anointing evangelistic crusades by Evangelist Sheldon Gibbons. And I could see the memory of Mother May pulling to, giving God praise, and said the church revive again. And so at this time, I'm going to ask you to stand on your feet as I welcome and present to you our third moderator, Reverend Sheldon Gibbons. Come on, put your hands together. God is faithful. Amen. God is faithful. Time has been far spent. Looking up on the heavens, we can see. So at this time, but the Lord will be, sun will be coming, and Donnelly Blackwood. And then we'll have our deacon Richard Banks, who served this circuit for many years as moderator she will be coming to offer tributes. So lovely May son and Donnelly Black Blackwood will be coming and they will be doing their tribute. Come in this order. God bless you. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Let me greet everyone. Everybody. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm rejoicing. I, I, I just want to repeat something that I said at the prayer meeting. Georgie, that's the grandson, that the first grandson that was born in the home. We are, there are other grandchildren that were born before. But he was the first one that was born at Ayad, Mama Ayad. And when he came by from Sydney, he said, Mama was well lit. Well loved, and that can't so me a lot. Yeah. much. I'm happy. Mama was well loved, well loved. And in spite of everything that is said about Mama, there is one thing that I'm glad about: the commitment she made. I didn't know that it was 60 years. Trust me. He can reveal that. I know Mama, all of my life was church. Was church. And there is one thing that I knew about Mama. There was a time when she made a full commitment. That night. I remember. Because sometimes you go to church and Mama, mama live a good life. She lived our good life all the time. The children can attest. The grandchildren, they can attest. And other people. Mama was a, was the perfect being. But I believe, I remember that commitment. That commitment. Because Mama always, I think, I, I, I received the most. Because Mama would never love me, not even to go play a little gig. Yes. Little man, on a Sunday. Some of the children maybe they got away with that. But Mama never loved me. Yes. Because I love play, see a kite, play a gig, marble. And Mama would love me one, like one Sunday when they had that picking them from a different yard. <laughs> Going to play a gig and marble. Yeah. Mama don't in the back. Church. And I realized that that, that, that that mama was grooming the children, the grandchildren, and the grandchildren yeah. for such a time, for the future. Yes. Future. I, 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 I am going to work with the, 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 the moderator. Yeah. I'm going to work with them. But let me say, let me say this. 
I want to say thanks especially to Bebop and Delo. In, they are in laws. When Patsy going to church, Delo was here with Mama. Bebop is not living in Jamaica. But you see, when Bebop come on, Bebop not left Mama. Amen. And special thanks to me and Patsy. We had to have to. Can you just tell me, Patsy? And especially so many grandchildren because there are there were some that were, were closer than some. But well, let me take this. Mama love everybody. Mama was kind to everybody. And I believe that Mama Lord will show that blessing. Unfortunately, he didn't make it, and so he had asked me to do this poem. Come with me by Ronda Basel. The Lord saw you getting tired, and the cure was not to be. So he put his arms around you and whispered, Come with me. With tearful eyes, we watched you suffer and saw you fade away. Although we loved you dearly, we could not make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating. A beautiful smile at rest. God broke our hearts to prove He only takes the best. It's lonesome here without you. We miss you so each day. Our lives aren't the same since you went away. When days are sad and lonely and everything goes wrong, we seem to hear you whisper, cheer up and carry on. Each time we see your picture, you seem to smile and say, don't cry, I'm in God's keeping. We'll meet again someday. Praise the Lord, everyone. Come on, let's give God some praise. Oh, Peter Evans, 
she had served in this circuit for nearly 10 years as a moderator. Deacon. church where Sister May was a shocking member. John exiled on the Isle of Patmos heard a voice from heaven saying, Write, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Revelation 14, verses, verse 13. When I became the moderator of the Stacyville County Circuit of Baptist Church, churches, I met some gents, seniors in the churches, whom I will never forget. In Stacyville, among them were Sister Lies, Sister Sita, Sister Baker, and Sister Sissy. Sister Sita was already a shot in, and Sister Lies and Sister Sissy, they had slowed down somewhat, but they would come to church now and again. I went to Stacyville on second Sundays, and you know, second Sunday in May is always Mother's Day. So on, that, on those Sundays, I would take a little gift for the mothers or the ladies of the church. I stopped at Redford for Sister Lies or sometimes at Bullet. And then Sister Sita up at Bullet. And then I went to Sister Sissy. And then I went to Sunday school at Sandery. They were all so thankful and appreciated. And then you go, even though sometimes they were not fully up, they didn't want you to read. I remember Sister Sissy as a strong believer, rooted and grounded in the Lord. I remember when you go to serve her communion or to visit, you are always encouraged by her presence. There was always a warm, welcoming smile, which was an arm. Um, enhanced by an encouraging word. And what I admired about her is that she knew the hymns by heart and she knew the scripture. She sang melodiously and she sang lustily. And you could tell that in her heyday, she was a pastor. The worship that you had there was enhanced, joyful worship. And I learned, you know, as I visited, I learned from her. She was, by this time, her sight was going until it finally went. And I learned from her that while it is day, we must do what we can to serve God and to give our lives and surrender ourselves to Him. Amen. Because our night is coming. Yes when we will not be able to be the person we want to be. So although she was blind, she was very happy. Happy in the Lord. So, you know, you see, you could see that she knew the Lord and she had a personal relationship with her God. She asked about her brethren and she asked about what was happening in church and her voice was still strong. She was ever so cheerful. You went to encourage her, but you left being encouraged. She had a kind heart. She always asked her daughters, whether at Mason River or at Sandy River, what they had to offer you, whether it was vegetable, young provision, or anything else. But you would leave empty-handed. They had to find something to give you. Praise God. Sister Sissy was a woman of prayer. 
she would tell you that she was praying for you and that you know she reminded you that whatever situation you were going through or anybody was passing through it was not a situation that God could deal with because he was in charge her life demonstrated thankfulness she often said thank you God I'm not in pain my situation could be worse. I paid tribute to Sister Sissy as a woman who lived her life in a state of readiness to meet her God. Is it any wonder then that then that God gave her a long life? As I close, very supportive of her church, very supportive of you, very always praying for you. And she sent what she had to the church and to support, and she always asked about the programs of the church. Over the 12 years that I have been there, this, uh, I shared a very rich, loving, and caring fellowship with the Sister Sissy. And I really miss her. Sister Sissy, my friend, I will always remember you. A giant of the faith, larger than life. Cheerful, encouraging, watchful, and praying. I hope to see you soon. Then I heard you quietly left us. I know you have found peace and rest in the arms of your Savior. Your parting has left a void which I will fill with joyful memories. Sleep on, my dear sister Sissy. I'll hold on to the faith in God, and someday we'll meet again. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord, somebody. Praise the name of the Lord, somebody. Come on, lift your hands and praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord, somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen, amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. Time has far spent already, and we are done late already. Me know why nobody knows him. Hear that? We are going to go through because sometime, when time gone, some people want to chop up the service. I just chop. Me no, me no, he not nothing chop, 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 nothing chop, chop. If I come to worship that. I hang on your head, hang on your head. Praise the name of the Lord, somebody. Praise the name of the Lord, somebody. She has lived a full life. And we must praise the name of the Lord, somebody. Praise the name of the Lord, somebody. for us at this time. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord, somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Greetings to all the ministers and greetings to you, beautiful people, in the name of Jesus. Um, I'm here from the Light and Life of Gospel Fellowship, which is our sister Maxine Benjamin. Sister Odavia and little Janelle stay at home church back in London. You know, we came here for a different event, but a few of us still wanted to come here 
and to support her. Um, and I bring greetings from our pastor, Pastor Homer Butler, and we say condolences to the family. Praise the Lord. There waits for me a glad tomorrow Where gates of pearls swing open wide And when we pass this veil of sorrow we will Church again. I, I will only go stay in the church again. 
that one day we'll be able to meet her him heaven someday. And I don't want to say, Maureen, I know you have missed her. And you know what? One thing that I am um, really glad about, it was last year that you came. Was it last year you came? And that was the last time that she had a chance to really move face to face and was able to interact with mama. And when she told me of the death of her mother, I was saying, thank God that she had a chance to really meet with her. Hallelujah. And today, you know, when I heard even her age, blessed be the name of Jesus, she back good. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The young ones are dying. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But I want to tell her that Aunt Sissy eat good food. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And she stayed in the presence of the Lord. Let me tell you one thing that caused man to live go when you have a pure heart. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Beautify the people with salvation, with long life. I will satisfy you. God bless you. Maureen, keep sweet. And all the other family. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God I can laugh. Amen. Because Mama live a good life. Now my sister-in-law is coming to join me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because I want to tell you something. When um, I was going to um, the Baptist church, um, every morning I have to get up and leave them with Mama at the bedside. And that's where I learned Psalms 91 and Psalms 51. Praise the Lord. So my sister-in-law is just going to sing this song for me. And I want to tell you again, I was the one that used to represent the Baptist church. For mama was so proud that she would never leave me alone to recite the books of the Bible. And then they put me on the chair. And you'll see her coming up with her money to find me and everything. So I'm telling you, I used to represent Baptist church. So my sister-in-law is going to sing this song for me. Praise the Lord. 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 I go where you see me. Look like I'm strong, but I'm not strong. Because I miss a mother-in-law. Amen. I miss a mother-in-law. Praise God. Go with me to God. Thank you, Jesus. She was there when her life started. She stayed with her. She never parted. She hold her close when she cried. And she wiped the tears from our eyes. She understood our baby talk. She was right there when she started to walk. Oh, she thanked God. She thanked God for Mama. Yeah. 
church is under construction. If you love this lady as much as you talk to your lover, when you go back to Canada, England, America, you have to send back something. So, because I, I checked the offering around here, I, and the offering was very weak <laughs> to the amount of people. And you know what some people are going to make up nice, are they? They can't make up nice when they come to church. But if you've got a quote house and they charge you a million dollars, you have to pay you. I'm going to London to preach in two weeks' time, so I buy me ticket. And when I went to the travel agent, he said, Mr. Givens, that is the price. Mr. said, give me this home. She said, as at that time, money, sir, if you, if you can't pay, you can't go back to the here. So, if you love mama, remember that Baptist church down the road here, that we had some good days on that. We built in a new church. And what a way to remember this great woman of God than for us to complete that church down there. Is that an amen, somebody? Yeah. If you promise me you're going to do something, lift up your hand. I don't know where I don't know where I'm. Light and Light and life, full gospel. But I must find somebody when I reach in life to carry me there. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. 
If you want to feel a feel business that. The church needs to be repaired. It was mush up under a storm. Was it a storm? Was it a storm? Deacon. The building gave way. The building gave way. And so now we are not worshiping under anything, just under the canvas of heaven. And we want something to fix up the church. And I'm showing it out today. Do your best. Amen. The May family is a blessed family. And so today, we have Maxine. She is a granddaughter of this woman of God who we are laying rest today. She has journeyed far to come to deliver a word to us this afternoon. And it is so fitting that the late sister May, her grandchild, yes. can stand this evening yes. to proclaim a word at the end of such a life. Yes. And so we know the blessing has continued. The Stacyville Baptist Church Choir is here with us, and they will minister to us, and then after they have finished ministering to us. Pastor Maxine Benjamin will come, granddaughter of the deceased, to proclaim what God has laid upon her heart in this service this evening. Well, after the choir finished singing, we invite the congregation to stand and put their hands together for the woman of God of the moment, as God will impart upon her a word to deliver to us at this time. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Somebody's a blessing. Come on, stretch your hand and say, bless her. Come on, somebody's a blessing. Some people, some people now say, no, all, all the service are one. But if you're not glad for your family, we are glad for the May family this evening. Amen, somebody. We are glad for them this evening. At this time, the choir will minister, and pastor will come immediately after the choir. God bless you this today.
We bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of Jesus. 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 Church, I'm not hearing you. Mama love to praise. Mama love to worship. And I want to take a stand today and worship the most high God. We bless the name of Jesus. 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 We bless the name of Jesus.
when we have done all these things. Bless the name of Jesus. When we abide in the word, our prayers are answered. When we abide in his love, we will obey his command. When we have done all these, Jesus tells us, we will then experience the fullness of his love, joy, and peace. In John 15, Jesus uses the metaphor, the vine and the branches, to describe to his disciples the importance to abide in him. This met metaphor is an extension of what Jesus shared with them in the previous chapter, John 14 where he encourages the disciple not to allow their heart to be troubled and comfort them with the promise he sent, the Holy Spirit, once he is gone. Jesus knew what trials await them as he left, but he was also knew that he has provided them with the help that they would need. Jesus told them to believe in him and to abide in his commandment. It is here that Jesus comforted them by telling them he will be sending an helper, the Holy Spirit, to dwell in them and empower them to do all Jesus is asking them to do. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Jesus uses an example of the branch needed to stay connected. Our reverend our connected. That's my main word in the scripture. I believe today that the Holy Ghost is encouraging us to stay connected. Amen. To stay connected. Amen. Sometimes we lose connection. Amen. When we lose that connection, just, just imagine, just think about the vine and the branch. Just think about a tree that is planted. Just think about chopping off that branch from the vine. When you cut off that branch, it withered, it burnt, it dried up. It becomes nothing. It's good for nothing but to be thrown into the fire and be burnt. We are used to using wood fire. And we look, you know, when I was a child and we searched for those dry, those dry branches. And when they're really dry, and when you put them under the fire, you can see the blades just go up. Because they're ready, they're burnt. They're good for burning. They're good for nothing else. And I believe that Jesus is encouraging us today to stay connected. going on around us, the pressures that are going on around us, Jesus is encouraging us to stay connected. Family, stay connected. Stay under the blood of Jesus. Mama is gone, but we are going to meet him someday. We are going to meet him someday. She has run the race. She has kept the faith. And now, here is she. Ready to meet us, maker. Ready, angels in heaven today are rejoicing. Ready just to receive her and rejoice with her. Let us stay in the race and stay connected. If you don't hear anything, don't lose that grip. Staying connected is a vital importance. Staying connected is all that Christ is asking us to do. Because if we lose that solidity, if we lose that grip, if we lose that hold, we lost everything. Bless the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus encouraged his disciples that when he had gone, they were to stay put and not to lose grip of what Jesus had given them because they will be tested. Mama is gone. Mama has sown the seed. I was one of the last one brought in the family home. 
Mama took me from the age of two years old. Bless the name of Jesus. I have seen mama sown that seed. I remember the age of 17. I refused to go to church one morning because I didn't get the chance to wear the dress I wanted to. Right? Because my auntie was in England and I took one of her dress and I said, I'm going to wear this to church. Mama said, it's not yours. Then I said to myself, I'm not going to church then. Mama just said to me, you better read church before me. <laughs> and because I am who I am, I don't like the telling off. I don't like, I don't get beaten because I follow the trend. So I make sure that I read church before Mama. Mama has planted that seed. Mama has kept the faith. The only life that I know is church, school, home. That's what I know. And I go to England and I say the same. This is my life, church and work and home. Sometimes we have some social little get together in the church, but that's my life. I followed the trend. And today the message is stay connected. Stay connected. When you stay connected, there are benefits. When you stay connected, the enemy can't have any hold on you because you are connected to the body. When the enemy wants to strip you, when the enemy wants to take away your joy, when the enemy wants to put things in your way that is going to track you away from God because you are connected. Because you are connected. You can say no great. You fall for anything. You fall for every and anything. When you lose the grip of connection, you fall for anything. Stay connected. Stay connected. There are trials and tribulations. There's so many things going on now. Economical crisis all around us. People are She demonstrates independence. 
She knows she has no one else to depend upon, is she? And Mama did, um, demonstrated those faithfulness. Um, I could see Ruth say, entreat me not to leave me, nor to return from following
very feeling, Mama Audrey is here. It doesn't matter. She just come home from, from the market. Mama gets ready on Sunday morning and she's ready for church. She is strong in the Lord. Her mind make up for she to stay connected. That's a strong woman. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Swear to be virtuous woman. You have to go through something. You have to build the endurance to stand firm under pressure. Hallelujah. When I think about this, pressure now is like the least of the least. We run away. Bless the name of Jesus. We don't have the same strength to stand anymore. We find some quick fix things just to remove away from the right source or the right pathway. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And you know, I'm gonna probably look at, you know, visa and I'm gonna go abroad and it's too hard and this is too hard to make her tough and you know, whatever. It's tough everywhere. It's tough everywhere. Everywhere around the world, we need the strength to stand. Because there are trials and tribulation right around. Its ear is there. Bless the name of Jesus, but we must possess in our mind that we are going to stand. I'm going to stay connected to the mind. Bless the name of Jesus. I am running through because I know the time is gone. Bless the name of Jesus. Mama has left a great legacy behind. And her spirit of excellence continues from generation and generation. Her lineage contains children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren who have excelled in various positions such as domestic workers, cooks, gardeners, farmers, and the doctor in the making, still in university, lawyers, teachers, nurses, engineers, pharmacists, police, soldiers, social workers, therapists, bank managers, footballers, bus drivers, criminologists, accountants, store managers, evangelists, deacons, entrepreneurs, faster carers, therapists, child managers, constructors, workers, construction workers, carers, hairdressers, agriculture, domestic engineer. Mama has worked tirelessly and have achieved much during her time here, ensuring that she never settled for anything less that what she was capable of. Always providing for her family, standing tall and holding her head high. We bless the name of Jesus. This is Mama Legacy today. Bless the name of Jesus. Mama is encouraging us as his children, grandchildren, friends, family, to stand strong and we will see what the Lord can do. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to sing the song to the Lord. The Lord bless you. And keep you. And make his face shine upon you. I'm going to ask my sister Evangelist Janet to come and help me in the leading of this song. Just be blessed. My brother. Hallelujah. 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 Baby. 
shine upon you. Be gracious. Oh, the Lord, the Lord is ready. He's a place to watch you. Tasisi, 
She is our dad's aunt. Some of us had some very memorable time by her house when we were younger. May the happy memories you guys have shared with Isaiah Tassisi comfort you all. Our deepest condolences to all the family. Continue to sleep in peace, Isilda, Mama, Mrs. All right. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on
affectionately called Miss Sissi, Mama, or Tassisi. Life is but a stopping place, a pause in what's to be, a resting place along the road to sweet eternity. We all have different journeys, different paths along the way. We were meant to learn some things, but never meant to stay. Our destination is a place far greater than we know. For some, the journey is quicker. For some, the journey is slow. And when the journey finally ends, we'll claim a great reward and a find an everlasting peace together with the Lord. The only certainty for everyone born is death. Death is an event shared by people throughout the world, regardless of color, class, or creed. On Wednesday, January 31, 1923, a baby girl was born in the district of Hilltop, Sand River, Clarinda. Her parents were Nancy Richards and Edward Richards. She was the ninth of ten children and was registered Isilda Melvina Richards, Tassisi. Even though names were just given in those days without much thought put in them, the name Isilda is of Jamaican origin and it means fear one. She was not fair in complexion, but she was a fair girl to look on. Mama grew up in the Hilltop District with her other nine siblings. They would explore all the nook and cranny of the hills. From river to bush, those were the order of the day. Coupled with what was in between time to play, she was a happy country girl. Miss Sissy received her only education at the Stacyville Elementary School. After leaving school, she learned dressmaking, but that was not enough for her. So as was the custom for rural folks, she ventured into farming. She did not only produce the items, but she ensured she was the seller. Mama was smart. She became an idler extraordinaire. From Kellick's Market to Crooked River, and finally, Old Harbor. She was a household name in these markets. She came in with everything the house needed. She didn't need to go to the shop. She was an independent higgler. She never credited goods to take to the market. She paid before she went. So if market was bad, me say that near mom. Singing in the correct note, pardon me. She loved to sing. I am not excluded, thank God. I'm included among many others. She loved to eat fried pork. And even her granddaughter, she knows herself, who is a seven-day worshiper, had to get it for her wherever it was. You could hear her singing, leave some pork for mama day, lest I forget. She also loved to travel, that is from Hilltop to Mason River. This she did a lot of, especially in her latter years. When the suggestion was made for her to be settled at one home, her response was, she was a kind and fair person. She believed that one should not only give, but should they what they have, but what they are. Courageous, tender-hearted, and hardworking are some of the descriptors of Miss Sissy. Mama was now grown up and started to become attracted to the opposite sex. She met and fell in love with Val Benjamin. That union produced Val, Watson, Clinton. She moved on as this man of her dream was somewhere lying in wait for her. So a few years later, she met the young and charming Albert May. 
they courted and got married on August 27, 1950. This union produced eight children, one of whom predeceased her. Her husband also predeceased her in the year 2005. Mama did not only believe in earthly love, as in 1954, she met and fell in love with a personal savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. She was baptized at the Stacyville Baptist Church. She was a faithful member of the church. She would walk from hilltop to Sandy River for many years through rain or sunshine just to worship. Even when she was unable to attend church, her many grandchildren would have to give her rally contributions and offering. Her favorite psalms were Psalm 51 and Psalm 56. You see this world, however beautiful, was never meant to be the place that we call our home and live eternally. And though we would not choose to love, and though we would not choose to leave, a loving God knows best. For when he calls us to sleep, he gives us peace and rest. Revelation 14, 13 states, and I quote, And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Unto me, right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth, yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor, Lord. The fact that Mama found peace with God is enough for us to remember her in a very, very happy way. So she would want me to remind us that a song penned by Henry Scott Holland, death is nothing. I have slipped away into the next room. I am I and you are you. Whatever we were to each other, that we are still. Call me by my old familiar name. Speak to me the same easy way which you always used. Laugh as we always laugh at the little jokes we enjoyed together. Let my name ever be the household word that it always was. Let it be spoken without effort, without the trace of a shadow on it. Life means all that it ever meant. It is the same as it ever was. There is absolute continuity. Why should I be out of your mind? Because I am out of your sight. I am but waiting for you at the interval somewhere, very near, just around the corner. All is well. After 99 years and seven months on earth, Mama has left to carry on her legacy sons, Vance, Ronald, Percival, and Ludley. Daughters, Winifred, Eulalie, and Hyacinth. Sons-in-law, daughters-in-law. Two adopted children, Florence Hills Dixon and Edward Smith. Great-great-grandchildren, nieces, nephews, numerous relatives, and friends. Special thanks to all family members who have been so instrumental in the care of Isilda May, Tassisi. Children, grandchildren, the extended family, and all. Let me pause to mention two sons-in-law who welcomed her into their homes on many traveling expeditions. Mr. Courtney Cornelius Hales, rather, and Mr. Donovan Blackwood Home were the takeoff and the landing of this traveler. Mama lived a full life. She had bought many years in her and in her years. She has such an impact on all of us. A matriarch is gone from the family. Rest well, Mama. Your crown awaits you in glory. Wonderful, wonderful. Come on, put your hands together for him again. Praise the name of the Lord. Till we meet. Till we meet.
so many of us lives including myself and I really want to thank you for this afternoon all the different tributes that have been said of her we thank you that she walked with you and we thank you that Lord the light she lived speak volume loudly shouts loudly of you thank you for the family she has left a spiritual legacy for the family and so as they mourn this afternoon, I pray that they will not mourn as though they are mourning for someone who has died without hope. Lord, because if they so live, they will see her again. But as even the sermon reminds us that they need to be connected or stay connected, that Lord, they will so closely knit together and reflect, be reflective of their loved one's life lived and what they can learn from her book. I commit them to you, Lord. You who are able to comfort them with the comfort where which you have comforted those of us before who have mourned. We thank you that so far you have kept them. We thank you that it is your peace that surpasses all understanding that has indeed kept them thus far. And your peace will continue with them to the end. So we commit their family to you, Lord. And we ask you, Lord, to strengthen them as they move forward. And as, and as they look for friends, oh God, who will call, they may not have friends to call them as they hope. But I pray that they will find that solace in you, Lord. They will find that peace in you, Lord. They will know that you are still the God who remains faithful, never to leave any of them alone. For you promise never to leave us, nor forsake us, Lord. 
And so it is upon your word that they can stand, even in moments when it becomes so lonely, in moments when they stand in the crowd, but they are so alone. Help them to know that you are still the wonderful comforter. You are still the everlasting father. You are still the prince of peace. So we commit the family to you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you will continue to surround them with your love. You will continue to wrap them close in your bosom. You will continue, Lord, to help them to rise above this hurdle and to know that, God, they will make it. In the name of Jesus, we present them to you, Lord, and we plead the blood of Jesus over their lives right now and that they will not be so depressed that they cannot move forward. But when depression come, they can rest assured that you are the God who heals. You are the God who delivers. When they feel like their backs are against the wall, when they feel as though there is no one on which they can call, let them remember that you are still their present help, oh God, in time of trouble. Lord, I commit them to you. Thank you for them. Those of us who stand today holding hands, Lord, we have been there before, and so we'll continue to give them our support in different ways. We leave it all in your hands. And as we break, Lord, for the great sight, may your presence be with us. We pray for traveling mercies. We pray that the rest of the evening will be celebratory in your presence as we continue to celebrate the life of one whom you have loaned to us, touching us in so many ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say, Amen. 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 At this time, I'm going to ask everyone to please be seated. Please be seated, everyone. I'm going to ask you please to be seated. I still, still see some disobedient Christian people walking around. Please be seated. I still see some real disobedient Christian people walking around. Christian people, please be seated. And I still see some Christian disobedient and, and walking around just the same. We are going to the same place after we leave here. We have, we have done well so far. After looking at this long program this evening, we come to. Amen. We, we made it. And so at this time, I'm going to ask the Paul Bearers the undertaker to please come. Can we have a little silence, please? Please be quiet. Church of God, we are still in the presence of the Lord. We are not in the marketplace. Amen. And so, my brothers and sisters, the platform party will go first after the singing of the first verse of the recessional hymn and the chorus, followed by the casket, followed by the family member. I'm going to ask you to please clear the aisle. I'm going to ask you to please clear the aisle. Pastor Marlin, can you read us in the end? There's a land beyond the river. Please.